In Spider-Man Homecoming, we introduce the Vulture, a new villain, who's a serious adversary with his exoskeleton, talons, and wings. You might think that for a character like this, we'd use vultures or condors for reference, but Marvel and Columbia needed him to be heavy and mechanical, inspired by steampunk aesthetic and military design. So we looked at jetpacks and flight suits, seeing how actual people fly using metal machines. We looked at reference and saw that the jiggle and shake was less predictable than you might expect. Spider-Man is fast and agile, whereas the Vulture is heavy and more powerful. The metaphor that we were using was that Spider-Man is the rapier to Vulture being the broadsword. And there are so many instances where we were animating the Vulture's performance and we'd have to slow it down and hold true to that idea. You know, he's just too heavy to move fast. And that was just really useful in keeping you grounded and feeling real. The conflict between Spidey and the Vulture is unique in that it's less a supervillain versus a superhero struggle and more a regular teenager versus a blue collar guy. Despite their advantages, the battles between them were staged almost like a bar fight, duking it out with both Spidey and Vulture in serious jeopardy. Yeah! 